Greetings everyone, it's Gryfi here looking at a viewer replay submission. This one is sent in by VXSS. We, he's playing the Richelieu uh, French Tier 8 battleship. We are on the North American server. We are on the map Trident. Now this replay made it in for a couple reasons. More so because the Richelieu is a great boat in my opinion, one of the best tier 8 battleships. Very quick, very agile, the guns are great as well. But for me this video makes it in because it shows something that not everyone's keen to do. Good battleship position placement to deny an enemy push and also then have your own team return rather than kiting away and losing a flank and conceding. He puts his ship on the line, tries to mitigate incoming fire and help re-secure a victory. Only going in at half speed into this game, letting seeing where the enemy vessels are Destroyers are doing the vision. Some of the cruisers are going in deep. There's a few good targets to really line up. You got the Bismarck on one side. Um, Cleveland comes up now, but you had the War Spider as well. There's definitely a few choicey targets. One pen on the Bismarck isn't too bad. Every little bit of AP damage hurts. Sashio and Minsk are contesting against the Itachia Charlie. So that will be interesting how it progresses. And looks like Elf is going to be a bit of a fight here. Ikag's getting the cap, but your Devonshire is now no more. The Huang Hei has aggressively pushed up. Huang Hei's got some crawling smoke, but really pushed up hard. With a Leander, Vastaras in support, and a couple BBs looks like it's coming in close. Your War Spite and Dallas are well back, and they don't look like they're going to take the fight up. The Dallas is coming forward. This looks like a, a not a bad salvo chance. Dunkirk is going in full reverse. Nice map control here in the Richelieu. Still owning the middle of the map. No one's really taken any shots at you thus far. Kag is being driven off them after that cap. He's got the Vastaras. Yeah, you got they got about six ships coming down onto Alpha. Your Dallas, your War Spot, even your Kansas behind you have decided to turn out. You have a key approaching a Bravo cap. Charlie looks like it's a fairly stagnant stalemate though. Both sides sort of kiting out. But looking at their map position, they're clustered together. They're not getting probably the cross shots that they want, but they've got to focus the fire and your war spites disengage. Your Dallas is behind the island, your Kansas isn't in the fight. Key, Anshan's doing well, a bit of open water. Torpedoes look like they missed the key. No luck there with that salvo. So it looks like the DD's now on Alpha. Battle's coming to a head though. You're starting to lose a bit of hit points for your DDs and your War Spite is starting to trade some health away, as is theirs. The key's a formidable opponent just to your north. Your Bismarck, oh, he's pressing W. I'm not going to mention my um, press W rant. Sasha takes out a war spite. And 
you've been found wanting, good sir. Enemy have quickly pushed into numbers into Alpha. Your CAG, your Dallas, your Warspite, your Kansas, they're, they're all disengaging. Your Bismarck is going in, pushing the key back, which is good for you, means you can sail in. And at this point, I actually think you are going to sail north. You've got the island there, that way you could have engaged the key or the Dunkirk, but um, VXSS does something very different here. He turns in. The key torps the Bismarck, I'm just going to shake my head. He turns in, great target selection, DD's low, he's lit, end his, his existence, and it makes this a little bit easier. So you've got four ships. You, you haven't pinged, you haven't typed, telling them what you're going to do. You're doing what you're doing. I'm just hoping that they read the situation, but we'll see what your counter push does. So there, Huang Hei is now overextended. The Bismarck looks like he's trying to give you a bit of an angle. Your nose in, so the Leander is not going to do too well against you. So yeah, we can still see everyone from the Alpha flank is steaming to the east side of the map. Vastaras comes back in for some reason, opens up his guns, probably has his torps off. Your salvo looks really nice. Securing the DD is fairly crucial. Even though the torps don't do much damage, if they fire frequently enough, it all adds up, especially if you get some flooding damage. It's not something you want to be taking to use a DCP. Lost your Dachi on the far flank. Things are still not looking good. You're down four boats. Enemies down two. They, they've got a few low hit points. The Vastaros did get off a set, so you are going to eat three. Two. Use your DCP. Good DCP management. Still haven't used your um, acceleration consumable. This is probably where I personally would use it. Uh, go forwards and backwards a little bit if you want to jockey their salvos and how they want to hit you. For some reason, rather than coming out even even to ram you, the um, Dunkirk has crashed. And there's Leander. Leander's trying to get away. It opens up. It's a bit foolish with AP ready. Very foolish. Triple Citadel, three over pens, a dev strike on Leander. So far, your counter push has killed two enemy vessels. They haven't focused you. The Dunkirk's put himself out of position. The Bismarck's got secondaries. You really haven't taken too much damage. Your CAG's now coming north. The War Spy, Dallas, and Kansas are still kiting away, but let's see what happens here. Dunkirk that you're keeping lit by your face is now taking focus fire, and he's going down pretty quickly. It's a shame your spotting damage isn't going up. That is one mechanic I would like to see. If, if you're in a BB, any, any vessel, cruiser, DD, really rewarding more for when you're doing the active spotting. Losing a turret. You are very stationary here. This I'd still recommend using your acceleration consumable just to go forwards and backwards it throws off their aim even just a smidge for whatever reason the monarchs ignored you till now only the bismarcks really shot at you and they, they've both they've both sort of disengaged they've gone next to an island and they're, they're firing at the ships of yours that's st steamed away Bit of Massachusetts coming over this side. It looks like you've got the Kansas coming in as well. Still not looking good for you. You've got a smoke cloud to your port side. There's the Huang Hei. Huang Hei's up. He's going to have torps on you. So hopefully you've got your yeah, using your speed boost finally. 
Get out of dodge. I love French BBs. And he missed, he missed that torpedo. There's probably nothing worse than being in a cruiser or DD and missing a battleship at like 5Ks or less. Because you think with their slow speed, everyone assumes that they're slow, that you shouldn't miss. But the Huang Hei did. He does have torp reload potentially, so he didn't use it in this instance. You lose another main battery for a short duration and a sit secure on the Huang Hei. Again, enemy here. Looks like you're going to take Charlie. Even though your team are now clustered up on the H-line in numbers, you have stopped their team from coming out. The Monarch is disengaging. The Bismarck and Dunkirk don't want anything to do with you. Looks Massachusetts takes out the Dunkirk. That's, that's good for you. Nice shot there. You were going to try, go for the Barbettes and the Bismarck. Disable will take out the gun, but no success. I think this will be the end. You won't get another salvo off. If you reverse here... Ooh, Key is down by the Anshan. Yeah, better choice here going for the Monarch. Good salvo. He's giving you a lot of side, probably a bit too far forward. You're hitting that front section as you've just worked out and you have changed your shots there to rectify. Do you get another? Ah, oh, no heal off, no heal off. The Carolina from Charlie gets you, but just under a hundred thousand damage. Three kills, one DD two cruisers and as you can see now his team is re-engaging the Massachusetts is going north the enemy Bismarck is nearly down the Monarch has kiting away the Dallas is still doing Dallas things lots of HE DPM at range but the Kansas is coming north the war spite is still sailed to the east side but your team now takes down the Bismarck you're up on vessels you're capturing a cap. The Minsk is nearly down. Their Cleveland is squishing, kiting out. You have, in this one play, have taken the initiative away from the enemy's push. Your Massachusetts, your Kansas, your Dallas, they supported you at range. And they're coming in to reap the rewards. Um, you were very fortunate. You did take on several ships at once, but um, they did not all shoot at you. The Vastaras... It's, it's like they just ignored you one at a time. He had the Vastaras, the Leander, the Dunkirk didn't come around. Um, he, he could have come up, literally done a drive-by, uh, rammed you. There, there were so many options, but by beaching as he did, he, he didn't shoot at you, and he just got farmed down. Very, very interesting play. Now, let's see. Right there. We are stuck in this mode. You don't move around here, so it is a victory to VXSS in his Richelieu here. His team does enough, as you can see by the side panels. North Carolina is about to go down. Minsk is not still being seen for a while, even though you do lose an Albemarle. Hit points are on your side. Massachusetts is going to drive into the cap, and the Albemarle secures the Carolina. It comes in as a good victory, but sometimes um, holding a position where you can mitigate enemy fire coming in at you and still do damage can really stop this. If, if this had turned out that VXSS had turned away with the forces at Alpha, those ships coming down from Alpha would have had the islands, they would have had the open water into Trident. I don't think this would have been a victory. They, they would have potentially been flanked with the, the ships at Charlie, the key above Bravo. They would have had cross shots into them from all angles and it would have been a pretty, pretty standard loss. Minsk Torps just fall short. 
Securing two caps here will be a great victory. Thank you to VXSS for this replay, showing that in the right right time, right position, you can still make a difference. Stop a push and help your team to victory. He did die. He's relying upon his teammates for victory, but they do bring him that. If you have enjoyed this replay and this content, please click that follow button below. Have a great day and stay safe.